Imam Ali alayhi salam has stated, O people, surely Adam never gave birth to a slave man or slave woman. Indeed, all human beings are free. The misconception that Islam encouraged slavery is sadly propagated by malicious and ill-informed people. The reality is that slavery existed in Arabia well before the advent of Islam. The question then arises that if Islam expounded the equality of mankind, why did it not introduce an outright ban on slavery? We don't need to go too far back in history to see why. Slavery was officially abolished in the 1800s in the USA. Yet, one and a half centuries later, African Americans suffer immensely from discrimination and lack of opportunity in society. An outright ban by Islam 1400 years ago would have resulted in large numbers of people being suddenly free, but with nowhere to live and no food to eat. Their former masters would have released them begrudgingly and treated them poorly as we see to this day in America. Rather than leave such large numbers of people without any opportunities, the Islamic approach was to change attitudes and perceptions of the society. It did so by, firstly, restricting the enslavement of free people, thus disrupting the sources of slavery. Secondly, it encouraged the emancipation of slaves by prescribing such actions as a great deed and also making the freeing of slaves mandatory for the expiation of many of the smaller sins that people in that society used to commit. Slaves were given a right to ransom themselves and the master could not refuse it. The holy imams would purchase and free thousands of slaves and also provide them with means of livelihood, thus setting an example to the society. Islam openly prescribed equality of slaves with free people. Incidentally, this is what attracted many slaves to Islam. Additionally, in the legal system, the punishment for crimes committed by slaves were halved to punishments for free people. As a result of the Islamic approach, we see that many former slaves in the early days of Islam, such as Bilal, Mitham, Salman and others, attained prominent positions in society. Islam wanted to reform society and change people's perceptions organically, whilst at the same time giving slaves a sustainable path towards true freedom. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant true freedom to all the oppressed people around the world. Amin.